Hello, hello to all chess fans and chess lovers. I'm Grandmaster Farouk Amanatov, and today, uh, in uh, use online Grand Prix 2021, uh, third and fourth round, and uh, as always, I will choose. I will try to choose uh, two section, one boy section and girl section, and. Uh, We'll check some some of the games. So let's we'll start from a uh, boys section under fourteen uh, game between Hubukshan of Erdem from Russia, as I as I remember, and against against uh, Sahib Singh. So French defense, as I see. But anyway, let's we'll check from the first moves. Uh, e4 e6, d4 d5, uh, e5 c5, knight c3, knight c6, knight f3, queen b6. Okay, knight a3, c takes d4, and c takes d4. Erdem playing really very fast, so. He trying to surprise his opponent. Saib Singh is very famous uh, player in India. I know him. He's already Asian and uh, Indian champion. So, so it will be. I think it will be a very interesting game. Uh, so now, now Saib is thinking, and he need to choose between some few few lines here maybe bishop b4 maybe knight e7 so let's we'll wait how he will play uh honestly this line is now this is not so popular instead of a knight to a3 more popular now this is a3 i mean like this even i played like this some few games i can't say that i'm so big specialist in this line but some knowledge i have but erdem played knight a3 and okay just it's really very interesting old line c takes c takes and like this he trying to surprise sahib so he was thinking, so what to do now? Bishop b4 looks a natural move. Bishop b4 check, bishop d2. But usually, usually it's really very good for or why to trade the dark square bishops. Dark square bishops, usually it's good for white because, okay, we have fixed pawn structure on the dark squares and usually it's good for us to trade pieces, uh, to trade dark squares pieces. Uh, okay, so, and the game was a6, as I see. Okay, just, I not see yet. Oh, I need to, yeah, so now I see a6, uh, nate c2 and nate ge7. So it's happened in the game. So what what can I say? I like move like rook b1. Rook b1 with the idea to push pawn on b4 to make more space on the queen side. And uh, also like this, we're preventing any uh, black country on the queen side. And then we're focusing on the king side. I mean, uh, it's a plan for white. So already, already only 12 minutes on sahib clock so he spent four minutes but okay it's anyway it's not so much he still fighting okay before erdem sinking i want to open um girl section under 14 and let's will choose one of the game uh yeah okay this one game uh white is baden horse lawyer against uh putar lara uh let's check with again oh <laughs> surprise but it's like <laughs> again again french defense again e5 line <laughs> so interesting c3 knight c6 knight f3 queen b6 but here hello at uh bishop d3 wow bishop d3 is really very old variation um as i know the main move in this position is bishop e2 and a3 as i said but bishop d3 of course is playable because i mean like uh white is some kind of gambit uh 
white sacrificing his pawn on d4. I, I mean, not now, because now it's not possible. Capture, 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 capture. And all of you know it that after bishop b5, we're winning queen. So for this reason, Lara playing bishop d7. So like this, she trying, she trying to win a pawn. But anyway, uh, hello, uh, are uh, sacrificing this pawn. So she made castle, rook c8, knight c3, and now Lara took on d4. Knight takes, queen takes, and directly knight b5. Directly trying to make a threat. Of course, bishop b4 not possible because black losing his queen. So choice between two moves as I see in this moment. So queen takes pawn. Or queen living somewhere, for example, queen b6. Uh, but queen b6 is not so principal move because after that, directly white playing bishop e3, attacking queen, and directly at least at least white winning pawn on a7. If black will make some move with a queen somewhere, I don't know something like queen d8, for example, at least white have some possibility to win a pawn on a7 and getting really very good position. Uh, with better development, and the main thing is uh, with the same material. So, uh, any other move after bishop e3 is not so great. Queen c6, knight a7, black losing material. Bishop c5 is also not so great because now knight d6 is coming and black cannot take because it's a pin. So, our uh, position is not so pleasant. So, no choice, in my opinion. We need to take, we need to take on e5. And, uh, yes, yes, yes. And Lara took on e5. It's happened in the game. She took on e5. Uh, hello, I played uh, rook e1. Queen is hanging, and she played queen f6. Okay, and now Baron horse lawyer move. So let's let's check how she will play. Um, what's my opinion? How she will play? Okay, probably she must to play aggressive, something like queen g4, maybe with some idea to develop bishop on g5 directly. One more option is queen h5. Maybe it's more interesting because after queen h5, we're also attacking pawn on d5. Same idea with bishop g5, and also we're attacking pawn on d5. But the main problem is that uh, black want to develop his bishop on c5 with a tempo. So, for example, something like this queen h5, bishop c5, for example, and the bishop g5. What do you think about this position? Looks very, very, very interesting. Yes, we're sacrificing a lot of material. And as you see today, I, oh, I'm, 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 uh, trying, trying, I'm trying to play very aggressive. I'm trying to sacrifice material. But okay, if we sack two pawns already, so no choice, and we must go forward. So uh, bishop g5, uh, what's black idea in this position? If queen takes f2, for example, we're playing king h1, and we have so great development, uh, my next move will be rook f1. But it's black to move now, and he can play knight f6, and I don't see any attack right now for white. Queen is hanging. If bishop takes f6, so simply uh, we can take queen f6, or even gf6 also looks looks absolutely playable. Yeah, it's not so great. No, 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 no. It's too much, too much aggressive. It's a one option, but also black can take on f2 by bishop. It's no. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm agree. Queen... Queen h5 is too much, so we need to search something else, something else, something else. But also, what else? Okay, maybe bishop e3 also looks natural. We're preventing black idea with bishop c5. We're attacking pawn on a7. And the main idea and main threat to play bishop d4, attacking queen, remove him from here. Um, okay, and also like this, we're preventing any... Any, any, any black activity. So for me, it looks looks absolutely normal. But let's see how uh, hello I played in this moment. Okay, she played simply knight c3. Wow, wow. Just simply back on c3. Hmm. Honestly, not sure. Not sure. Okay, maybe. Uh, 
I don't know details of this line, but looks for me it looks really very strange. We played knight c3, knight b5, so active, and knight on b5 staying really very active. And now we're going back on b5. Not sure that it's so great. Even even bishop c5, if Lara will play, and then what? For example, bishop c5, attacking pawn on f2, on knight takes d5. Queen f2 check, king move, knight e7, for example. Is it so bad for black? Black is too pawn up. Oh, I not see something special for white. Okay, rook f1 is possible, of course. But okay, queen h4 or something like this. It looks absolutely normal for black, right? Oh, queen d4, I don't know where where my queen will be well. Okay, even queen d4. Even queen d4 and not feeling that it's so great. So great for for white. Hmm. Knight c3, I don't like Lara. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Uh, knight c3 looks a bit strange for me. Hmm. Yeah, it's like not in spirit of position. Already your knight on b5 on, on on active square, so try to use him there. Cannot say that knight c3 I like. But okay. So let's 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 continue. Um knight c sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh knight c3 was in the game. Uh and now and now Lala played bishop e7. Oh very safety, you know, like uh what's diff do you know what's the difference between top gms let's say even strong gms and let's say middle players that uh top gms always searching some counter way if they see that let's say you're attacking some of his pawn or his bishop or some piece never mind his first thoughts will be how i can make counter attack and for sure for sure he will search something like like bishop c5 or bishop d6, something like this active, active moves. But bishop e7 for me looks a bit, bit passive. Yeah, okay. Uh, Lara played bishop e7 and uh, Loya played queen e2. Why queen e2? Why queen e2? Oh, maybe some, some preventing of knight h6 maybe some idea like this maybe knight h6 bishop h6 queen h6 and now we can take on d5 but not sure i'm not sure that it's so easy mm, in my opinion if we sacrifice material so we must to search some active some active possibility some aggressive even moves but okay let's see let's see so before before uh lara thinking let's go back in a, a boys section under 14 game between between uh, uh erdem against against sahib oh and they made some few moves already okay let's i will check after queen b6 was knight s3 okay capture capture a6 sahib played so a6 usually is very useful moves move 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 in in black position because we're controlling b5 square so sometimes we're preventing any knight b5 any bishop b5 so i can understand this move uh knight c2 and sahib played knight ge7 okay looks normal bishop d3 bishop d7 castles and knight g6 okay there knight g6 usually usually black trying to develop his knight on f5 uh from where uh, he attacking central pawn on d4, but but Sahib decided to play knight g6. Honestly, I'm not sure, not sure in knight g6. In my opinion, like knight f5 is more natural. But okay, uh, Sahib played knight g6 and directly, directly, Erdan trying to use him. So h4, it's a typical idea. So g6 square is not so great square for the knight. And like this, white trying to, 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 to use this knight. h4, h5, and disturbing, disturbing this knight. Okay, so uh, bishop e7, h5, and knight f8. Wow, knight f8. 
too passive. Too passive, Sahib. My friend, it's too passive for French player to play like this. In my opinion, all players who using who are trying to play French defense must play a bit, bit more aggressive, not like this. Looks really very passive. Okay, maybe maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's only move, but 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 I don't know. Knight h4, capture, capture. Maybe he was scared of Queen G4. Maybe he was scared of Queen G4, maybe. Maybe he right, maybe he right. But anyway, I prefer to play like this. I meaning bishop e7, and if white will take on g7 to make long castle. To make long castle. Yes, I'm sacrificing material, but I have position with other side's castles. And uh, with open g file, always I will get a good good contrary. So I'm not saying that it's so perfect for black, but it's absolutely playable position. Absolutely playable position. For example, I don't know, Jan Nepomnia, she loved to play like this. Even I played once against him positions like this, and uh, I was really I was really <laughs> scared to play position like this by white color against Jan. Yeah, but okay. So Sahib so played knight of eight, and uh, after that, his opponent played bishop g5. Wow, like this, bishop g5 even. Wow, I thought honestly about h6. To push my pawn till h6, and if black will play g6, and only after that to play knight uh, bishop g5. And what I calculated, I will tell you. Uh, bishop takes, knight takes. And if black will try to win a pawn on d4, like this, capture, capture, I have very nice move, like knight takes f7. <laughs> it was my first thought. If king takes f7, and it's typical, typical idea, bishop, bishop takes g6 check, and queen d4 is coming. So, like this. Yeah, but Erdem played played bishop g5 directly for me it looks bit bit not accurate because after bishop g5 take take and say f6 so he played f6 wow my thoughts was <laughs> only about h6 to play h6 and try to leave his knight from g5 but Sahib fighting uh, F6. I don't know. Honestly, like I'm not a big fan uh, to start play aggressive, especially open center when I when I have so bad development. My king still in the center, my knight on a fade. I hate moves like this. I'm I'm honestly saying you. Yes, maybe Sahib. Sahib calculated something, maybe he was worried about knight h3 or what? Knight h3 with queen g4 idea. Why he not played h6? I'm trying to understand. d4 is hanging also. Knight takes d4 now. Black can take. Not true. Not true in f6. It looks really very risky. Oh, and Sahib spent so much time. Do you see? Three minutes only against 12 minutes of Erdem. Oh, it's too much. It's too much. It's so big advantage. So big advantage. Not sure. Wow. And Erdem simply trying to push H6. Wow. It's really very big fight. <laughs> so interesting. Okay. So what was then? Uh, Rook G8 played Sahib. Okay, let's. I will show you what uh, uh, will happen uh, if if Black will take on H6 and Queen H5 is coming, and White winning at least at least uh, Rook 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 on H8. King D8 Knight F7. If King E7 Queen F7 check first, and after that Queen F6 check, and uh, then take on H6 uh, on H8. It's totally winning position so for this reason for this reason Sai played a uh, rook 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 g8 rook g8 or what was then uh his opponent took on g7 okay looks natural but also also can we take on h7 
Looks also very nice. Knight h7. Oh, I like it. What do, what do you think about knight h7? Knight takes h7. Bishop takes h7. Rook is hanging. And after rook h8, we're capturing on g7 and promoting new new queen. Looks really, very nice. So, okay, just maybe not necessarily, of course, for black to take on h7. But what to do? If he will capture on uh, h6, of course, knight f6 is coming. So it's easy. Easy winning. Maybe long castle, some kind of only move for for black, but at least we can take 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 on a fate, let's say rook a fate and h7. <laughs> we spawn on h7, I'm not care about anything. <laughs> but maybe it's not so great position. Okay, it's it's playable, absolutely. So but okay, are them how are them played? Oh, are them is thinking or not? Um, he took, he took, oh, okay, just like this. Okay, looks also very nice. Yeah, I am agree with Erdem. It's really very well. Queen h6, oh, it's too much, it's too much. Queen h6, attacking rook, Sahib took and lost the rook, exchange up and totally winning position. Not great game of Sahib. But Ardem really played really very nice. Nice game. Knight d4 and queen g7. What's the idea? Idea to play queen e7 and continuously attacking black king. Yeah, looks really very bad. So very sad. But okay. Still game is going. Uh, knight c6 b4. Yeah, Ardem playing absolutely correct. His material up, open, and king is very weak. And simply he trying, he trying to open as maximum as possible position and attack black king. So position is totally winning. I think not necessarily to discuss again uh, uh, about this game. Let's let's will check how are uh, playing the girls. Uh, in a girl's position, what happened? Oh. Wow, it's, it's a real war. Okay. <laughs> uh, we stop looking. Yes, we stop looking. Uh, queen e5, rook e1. We looked it. Knight c3, yes. And okay, Lara said, uh, Lara played uh, bishop e7. Okay, we looked it. Queen e2, bishop c6. Okay, Lara playing really very safe with uh, two pawns up. She trying to prevent any white activities. Absolutely logical, and I like it. Uh, bishop b5. Yeah, lawyer trying to make something, some complex. Yeah, knight h6, bishop h6, and simply gh6. Yeah, okay. What's what was idea of lawyer after bishop h6? If Lara will take on h6 by queen, knight d5 is coming. Okay, nice, and it's pin. Pawn takes d5, queen e7, checkmate is coming. So bishop d5, not possible because it's a pin. But, but Lara, very smart uh, player. She took simply by g pawn and still no any attack for white. And no, I don't see any reason um, to play like this. Hmm. Yeah, so what to do? Uh, let's continue. Rook d1 and simply, and again, very nice, very nice. Lara trying to play without any risk. She saw that after rook d1, knight d5, again, some ideas. Yeah, and also, you know, uh, she wants to make castle, but okay, why not castle right now? Castle, knight d5, we have bishop d5. So why is she not played like this? What's the reason uh, to spend the time for rook d8? Anyway, of course, black position is totally well, so, but I'm a bit scary to keep my, <laughs> my king in the center, so I'm always trying to save my king, so for this reason, maybe I'm a bit uncomfortable, but okay, just, it's only, like, you know, it's individual, some of us are scaring to keep king, some of us not care about it, so, so it's fine. Uh, rook d8. Bishop c6, pawn takes, queen a6, and simply e5. Yeah, saving c6 pawn. Uh, Haloy took on a7, and king f8. 
Wow. Why not King G8? I don't like this move, honestly. I don't like this move. I will try to save my king first to bring my king on H8. No any risk for myself. And after that, maybe I will start to attack. Maybe I will start to push my uh, central pawns forward. So it's up to me. But first of all, in my opinion, we need to save our king. But okay. So uh, Lara played king f8. Uh, and now, and now, and now. Hello is sinking. And she played queen a6. Okay, what's the idea of this move? What's the idea of this move? What's the idea of this move? I don't see any idea. I don't see. Not sure. Not sure. In Queen A6. <laughs> We're pawn a down, right? Let's let's will discuss. Let's will think like like logically. So we are pawn down. If we not will make something, if we not will try to create something if we not will try to make some threats we will lose our game for sure so for this reason for this reason i don't like to play queen a6 i can understand move for example queen c7 we are taking e5 pawn i can understand let's say pushing pawn a4 a5 a6 something like this but queen a6 not sure not sure not sure but okay, uh, hello, I played queen a6, rook g8, okay, looks natural, absolutely, rook d3, okay, rook d3, I can understand, so some, 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 some ideas, maybe rook f3, maybe rook h3, rook g3, okay, rook f3, not possible, because queen takes f3, but some possibilities, uh, or even if black will play king, queen g5 or queen g6, at least we have rook g3 always, okay, uh, this move I can understand. We're making our rook on some bit, bit at least bit active square. We may be preventing any black activities like queen f3 or something like this. And we have some more opportunities with this rook. Okay, so I like it. Uh, and what then? And then Lara start to play aggressive. So she pushing her pawn on e4, rook g3 takes takes and bishop c5 yeah oh loy, loy, loy. no any attack pawn down position is very unpleasant position is very unpleasant and she played rook e2 and right now position like this a lot of a lot of, a lot of thinking and um and and then and, and i'm trying to understand i'm trying to understand which move i will make if i will place this position by black color um <laughs> so i like h5 <laughs> okay but h5 is not no 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 i don't like it h5 h4 it's not a threat even even if white will take on h4 queen h4 and c6 pawn will be hanging so I don't like it. Okay, so then then what? Then what then what? Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe simply King G7 I will play. After that, something like rook e8. And after that, I will push my pawn on e3. Why not rook e8 directly? Because because after rook e8, knight d5 is hanging. So uh, pawn on d5 is hanging like this, and I'm losing my pawn. So for this reason, I, I want to play king g7 to save my king, my queen, and any white move, I don't know, a3, for example. And after that, I will try to push uh, to play rook e8 with the idea to push my pawn on e3. Uh, try to, right to open as maximum as possible white king. Yeah, something like this I will try. Okay, what happened? Oh! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> Lara played a rookie directly and immediately Hloya took on d5. Um, Lara, 
maybe maybe it's better to listen myself <laughs> yes it's a, it's a joke of course by the rules it's not possible but like i'm killing but anyway oh come on come on come on only one idea in the white position is knight d5 and you missed it and right now in my opinion position is absolutely unclear absolutely unclear because right now is uh by material by material position is equal right five pawns against five pawns and even so many weaknesses in black position so many uh islands so in my opinion position is right now not so clear but why knight c3 but why knight c3 oh come on lawyer and even i saw that lawyer played really very really fast what's the reason to play so fast lawyer so was the main idea just look it's the main idea of rook e8 as we discussed, as we looked, uh, to push pawn on e3 and as maximum as possible to open the white king. So then Haloya took on d5 and her opponent played queen d6. So still, still idea with e3 is working. So maybe it's better to play knight e3 and prevent any uh, black activities in the center. I think it's more logical, no? So she played knight c3, and uh, for sure, for sure, now Lara will push her pawn on e3. Okay, can I? Uh... Yes, 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 and it's happened. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, lawyer. So, 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 what to do right now? Take on e3 looks really very risky because after bishop e3 check, king f1 and king starting to run. I'm not sure that it's a good idea to bring king on h2, but any any check will be made, like something like rook e5, rook h5. Oof, it's too much. It's too much. But okay, let's check anyway. Let's I will show you. Uh so pawn takes bishop e3 check. King f1, as I told you, it will be really very risky. At least, at least black can take on g3. After that, some ideas like rook e6, rook f6 always is coming. For sure, for sure, black will be fine. So, and if a white will play something like king h2 okay again again many possibilities even even rook e5 with a simple idea to check mate after rook h5 yeah not so great so white cannot take on e3 and what to do we have a choice between okay no choice f3 we're simply losing our g3 pawn and okay maybe right now it's not so dangerous queen g3 queen c6 is coming and I don't see any mate or something, but even even bishop d6, even bishop d6. Okay, let's check. Uh, queen takes g3, queen takes c6, and simply we're playing bishop d6 with the idea to check mate in two moves. Queen h2 check, king f1, and queen h1 checkmate. So it looks well. So any other possibilities for white after queen g3? After queen g3, after queen g3, maybe knight e4, knight e4, attacking bishop, 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 rook e4, pawn takes, and then, and then bishop d6, oh, and then queen c8 check and queen h3, black have some defendings, oh, sorry, white have some defendings like this, okay, let's, I will check, uh, knight e4, capture, takes, bishop d6, and simply, yeah, yeah yeah i was right check and queen h3 directing and the white saving his king very very easily okay so f3 honestly maybe possible maybe possible to make so let's check uh, how uh, how how um chloe played she took she took on e3 bishop takes e3 uh Oh, one second and no 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 wait king h2 and rook e5 oh lara simply following my words hello lara you if you're listening <laughs> it's a joke 
Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Rook e5 is an absolutely natural move. She threatens to checkmate it. Okay, yeah. Looks looks easily easily winning position for 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 black. Okay, maybe anyway, like queen c8 and queen h3, we need to play check king g7 and queen h3, something like this. I don't see any choice. Queen h3, and what then? Queen g6, I want to play, but g4 still, still black uh, cannot to checkmate it. White king. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, for sure, black is better, but I don't see any direct, direct uh, attack or something, something dangerous right now. Okay, it's one option. Maybe something like with queen g4 check is also possible. Queen g4 check, rook g5, oh, and knight e4. <laughs> what do you think about this move? Check, rook g5, looks natural, and simply knight e4. <laughs> so nice. And if black taking on g4, I will capture knight uh, takes d6. Maybe I'm missing something, but but okay, I'm human. <laughs> I can miss something. <laughs> Some bishop g1 check. Bishop g1 check. King 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 h3. Even we can go. Okay, looks looks also really interesting. Let's will check uh, what happened in the game. Oh, 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 oh. She played king e7. Oh, I can't say that king on e7 staying really well. Just for me, it looks. But okay, uh, from uh, from other sides, uh, queen g4 is not working right now, right? Queen g4 check is nothing now. But you know, I don't like to keep my king in front of his rook. Always, some 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 pin is also. Possible, but okay. So uh, Lara played King e7, Queen g4 anyway. Lara played, and Queen c5 again, again. Uh, threatenings to check mate after Rook h5. Okay, not checkmate, but to win some material at least Queen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what to do now? And what to do now? <clears throat> Queen h4 or what? I don't see any other moves. Queen h4, check. King move and g4, right? No choice. Yeah, I think it's it's only moves. Queen h4, check. Let's say king, I don't know, e8 or f8, I don't know, somewhere. And now g4, like this. At least we... Uh, make prevention against rook h5, and okay, just it's still still playable position. I think we need to play only like this. Oh, but 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 Loe took on e3. She took, she took simply, and after queen e3. Simply, uh, Lara is exchange up, exchange up, and I think it's totally, totally winning position. It's technically winning position. Yeah, so Lara played king e6, check, king d6. I don't know why. And okay, right now we can take pawn. Oh no. Oh no. What's the reason? Okay, just lower your chances to take some material, to take some pawns, and and try to and try to think positive. But if you're making only checks, it's really very tough. One queen cannot to make perpetual against rook and queen on the central squares. I can't believe that it's possible. Yeah, it's happened. Queen g4, no, not sure. Yes, of course, still they playing and still uh, Chloe have some practical chances, but 
to be honest, position is totally losing. And I think she will lose very soon. Okay. Queen c5. Uh, Lara played. Again, again, she trying to, to win a queen after rook h5. <laughs> so good. So good. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what's now? And now I think it's over. Almost over. I don't see any move. Okay, queen f4 maybe we can play, but it's last chance. <laughs> no any, uh, no any other moves. I think. Yeah, she played queen f4, queen e7, and now Lara trying to save her pawns. She trying to save her pawns. Okay, jump with a knight somewhere. Knight e4. Chloe, what to do? No choice. Go, go, go forward. Go forward. But okay, she played Nate E2. Okay, okay. Maybe it's also possible. Maybe even it's better, better than Nate E4. King B7. So Knight somewhere. Knight D4 probably. Yes, it's happened. And oh, Rook H5. Oh, rook h5 is coming. King g1 and queen e1 winning immediately. Queen e1, queen f1, and our black sacrificing rook and winning the queen and game directly is losing. Okay, yeah, and it's happened in the game. It's happened in the game. So she played knight d4 and she lost like this. Rook h5. Yeah, what I showed you, it's happened. So... And after rook h1, uh, Chloe resigned. So it was, I can't say that it was easy for Lara, because after the opening, uh, after the opening, she was something like two or three pawns up. And even in some moments, she lost a pawn. She missed, if you remember, she missed, uh, she missed knight takes d5 in this moment and after that position was not so clear before it was totally well and even maybe in some moment it was totally winning but after rook e8 she missed a pawn knight takes d5 and this position for me it's not clear absolutely so i recommend if you remember to play knight e3 to prevent to prevent any black activities and after that for example if uh Chloe will play uh, knight e3, this position, for me, not, not so clear. Even I prefer to play by white color, this position, because I see so many islands in black position. Yeah, but she played knight e3, and slowly after e3, she lost her game. So, like this. So, but anyway, it was interesting, really very interesting game. Uh, let's well check boys' action and what happened in... In, in Sahib game, uh, yes, this game, and we looked, yeah, okay, just quickly, bishop g5 takes, takes, f6, okay, okay, we looked it, even we discussed, yes, queen g7, and b4, yeah, we'll, we stopped to watch uh, from this moment, uh, say he played rook e8, rook e1, yeah, absolutely logical. e5, say he trying to make some, con uh, to get something, to get some, 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 some contra at least. So, but it's too much material for white. Bishop f5, even not trading the queens. Yeah, okay, f4. I prefer to play maybe rook d1, <laughs> last my piece is coming. But okay, Erdem trying to win also directly even f4. And now he played rook d1. Knight d8, yeah, it's totally bad position. Totally king in the center. Even, even with material equal, it will be really very bad position. But white even exchange up now. Yes, 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 and here Sahib resigned. D5 is hanging, Brook takes E6 is coming, and two knights, look at this, two knights, F7, F8, not doing absolutely. So, of course, position is totally losing. Yeah, 
Okay, great, great game for Erdem. Congrats, Erdem. And not so great game for Sahib. Sahib uh, tried to learn at least some, 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 some uh, theory of this variation. So let's continue. Let's continue. Who also playing in this uh, section? Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Draw, draw right now. It was draw. So I saw they playing uh, so many moves. Uh, this totally equal position. Okay, one one more game, and this section is playing right now. And uh, position very interesting. White is pawn up, but pawns on 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 the same flank. On the same flank. And last white move was knight g5. So, any chances to do something? Not sure. I think even we can capture on g5 very easy way. I, what I see. Uh, capture, let's say, fg6, uh, fg5. And simply we can back with a king on on f7 or on g6, let's say something like this. This position will be really very easily draw. I will bring my king on g6 and okay, just then it will be easy. But let's check how uh, how played players. It's a game between Shamatava Nicolosi against Macridis Dimitrius. Macridis Dimitrius, okay, and what happens then? Okay. Uh, Dimitrius took on uh, g5, same what I saying. Uh, fg5, king. Oh, sorry, no, no, it was my variation. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, he played knight c5, like this. Dimitrius, okay, possible, maybe bishop c7 and simply knight e6. What's the idea? Aha, uh -huh. okay. So I got his idea. He want to bring his knight on g7, take on uh take on uh, g4 and keep knight on f5 or h5 somewhere. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, it's totally totally equal position. So what was then? Yeah. So Nicolazi respecting his open he's not trying to make something so he pushing his pawn on h5 and after that it's a draw so like this very interesting in my opinion round uh in 14 section between 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 uh erdem uh, against Sahib Singh, uh, Hubukshan of Erdem against Sahib Singh, and uh, this draw, Shamatawa Nikolazi against Makridis Dimitrio. So, big fight, all players trying to show the best. Let's we'll check some other games, which is not finished yet. Okay. Oh, very interesting game in section, boy section under 16. Uh, Krishna Rohit against De Silva. If you remember, we looked Rohit game yesterday. So, and now he got this position, but position is losing. What can I say? It's losing. No choice. So, black idea to play rook c2, checking h1 and king h3. And after that, g2 is coming and it's unstoppable. And it's unstoppable. Yeah. So, what to say? What to say? Yeah. And he lost his game. So, oh, whoa. one more interesting position. Looks really very interesting. But okay. Kalichawa Akaki. Oh, Kalichawa Akaki. We looked also his game yesterday. And uh, and again. Uh, Georgian, Georgian, Georgian player have a losing position, I think. Because you see, uh, his opponent bishop saving G pawn, a king simply saving two these A and B pawns. But these four pawns, one king cannot stop. So position is losing and uh, and Akaki resigned in this moment. Okay, who else? Who else? Who else? Oh, <laughs> okay. It's a boy, a uh, girl section. Uh, girl section under 10. So 
two young ladies playing this position. What to say? Oh, okay, it's a blitz and every, uh, sorry, it's a rapid, so maybe everything can be happened, but, but, but they think position is equal and knight d6 is coming, so white cannot to make something, maybe king a4, king b4, but, but it's force, force, uh, black will attack this pawn and immediately, immediately, uh, sacrificing his knight for last white pawn, so it's easily, easily draw. Okay. Oh, I think we will see long time this end game. <laughs> As always, you know, in every open tournament, I think in every round, some end game like this, rook and bishop against a rook, and uh, minimum something like 50, 50 uh, moves they will play. And even pawn on a board, you know, even white force of all will try to win this pawn something like 40 moves and after that they will start to play to play uh end game rook and bishop against rook so i am sure it will be a very long game okay let's will check so we have a time so our job to watch end games like this so it's absolutely normal so um rookie one uh game between m3 kumar against ngong tuong uh m3 kumar uh is white and ngok is black so ngok played uh rook e1 rook a4 uh, check king g5 king e5 okay then rook e8 check it was in the game and king f6 okay so white will try first of all uh win this d pawn it's not easy <laughs> it's not easy but okay anyway he will try white must to try it of course because he speeds up even it's after that will be theoretical draw but 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 um, all okay just all players trying to win positions where where they have some chances at least position without any risk in positions without any risk of course white will try to 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 play so what was then after after that d5 rook d8 and king c5 king g5 white playing and uh, right now ngok pushing his pawn on d4 so which move i like in this position i like to play bishop e6 uh some ideas with rook d5 for example and also i'm cutting his king his king cannot go on c4 if he will start to make a check so i will bring my king maybe 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 even maybe even on e7 or maybe I don't know honestly I have a choice maybe go back on f2 some some somewhere okay maybe king f king f4 king g3 something like this uh so I'm threatening to play rook d5 check and if you will play king c4 then it will be some discover if you will play rook d1 okay at least I'm improving my king for sure for sure it's equal position but white can try uh okay what was then uh give me a second yeah king g5 with yes oh he played bishop d3 um uh, okay same idea same idea he preventing of king c4 but from bishop e6 you will have you will have sri kumar uh some more possibilities like rook rook d5 check but okay so it's happened in the game bishop d3 rook f3 bishop e4 rook e3 and king f4 for sure uh king c4 after king c4 black offered the draw but of course white declined uh rook c8 and king b4 okay and right now this position and what do you think about king e5 king e5 d3 king d4 and d2 it's too much and too risky but yeah it's too risky it's too risky 
what else what else how we can improve okay we can play simply rook c1 maybe like this and after that i'm threatening to play okay let's say some move king b3 maybe like this like this like this d2 oh 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 oh, 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 oh. we have a check so it's we not care about it uh what he can do what he can do what he can do what he can do oh no he can take on e4 Pfft. missing 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 rook takes e4 king e4 and d2 and black next move will be king c2 and d1 so um yeah 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 it's possible so but uh, what happened in the game oh he won a pawn <laughs> i can't i cannot win a pawn but uh sri kumar did it how let's check okay so he also made a waiting move like myself but i played rook c1 uh he decided to play rook c7 okay nice uh rook c3 and now rook d7 king c4 oh like this like this like this and after d3 he missed rook d4 i think yeah 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 and okay bishop takes d3 and now arbiter starting to count count how many moves <laughs> they will make so bishop e4 bishop e4 not sure honestly in bishop e4 in my opinion directly directly rook d8 was better just we're waiting when he will make a check and after that we will play bishop e4 but what's the reason to play rook bishop e4 right now but okay uh bishop e4 rook e1 rook d8 and king b4 um you know i think i think ngok don't know the method of defending in, in these type of positions means uh the best way the best way and even easy way or uh, when you got position like this for example you simply simply trying to keep your rook and king on same file or rank for example right now king on c file and rook on c file so try to keep like uh this to your pieces and uh, it's not so easy for white uh to occupy or to make uh, to cut your king from c5 for example rook c8 okay we're playing simply king b4 and he can't touch his pieces like king and bishop because rook is hanging so he must spend a time to make some move and again going back if he will make some waiting move okay we're keeping rook on c3 so we're playing rook c3 rook c4 still still of course uh strong players strong people i mean strong players who know this end games they trying somehow to count black king but in my opinion it's easy way to save position but okay let's check what happened in the game uh sorry we'll uh we stop watching after after capture pawn yes 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 okay so simply he cut already oh come on come on ngok yes okay check king d4 oh he's very close from the last rank uh so why 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 what's the reason to play rook d2 come on gog any other square maybe even king d2 just try to leave but what's the reason to play rook d2 and after check what he will do king on c1 is too risky even maybe i don't know king b3 or bishop d3 and it's too much so king b2 also very risky oh gog so rook b3 check i think right yeah it's happened rook b3 check king a2 and now we cut his his king on the last rank so and now and now simply king c3 looks like like fine no this position no no not sure not sure i think sri kumar will win this position I don't know why 
just I'm really very confident because Gonk playing really very let's say he's not confident in his end game I think yes of course this gentleman's young players but anyway anyway so what then King C3 yeah natural looks check wow And bishop d3. And bishop d3. So with a simple with a simple idea. What about rook b2 now? <laughs> to make to make small trick, rook b2. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Oh, but he played king a2. No, 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 no. This position is losing. This position is losing like this. We're playing rook b6. Checkmate idea. King a1 and rook e6. Game over. Finish. We're checkmating o from e1 or from a6. Black, black rook cannot save both ideas. King a2, checkmate from there. If he will make any waiting move, like, I don't know, like rook g2, for example, then checkmate like this. Rook e1, king a2, bishop c4, check, and uh, check, and checkmate, like this. Yeah. The... What happened? They made draw somehow. I don't understand how, but I see result now. Oh. I don't understand what happened. What happened? Yes. No, wait, 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 wait. What happened? Oh, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed something here. But it, it, it was easily winning. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, so. Okay, maybe he missed something and, and, and then. It was draw. Okay, so let's will make some small break, and uh, we'll continue uh, observe our next round after some few minutes. It's time to drink coffee <laughs> and back again watch the games. So see you a bit later. Bye.
Hello again. Let's check our next round, fourth round. Uh, again, again, let's will choose some uh, boys section and uh, girls section. So on the 12th, uh, let's check some games. Uh, okay, this one looks very interesting. Uh, Din Ho Kiet against Sharshan Back of Emir. Honestly, I don't know these young stars, but if they playing, so for sure, they, they're really strong players, even on the 12th. Let's, uh, let's see uh, this game. Din Ho Kiet White, Sharshan Back of Emir uh, is black. So D4, Knight F6, C4, G6, Knight C3, and Bishop G7. Okay, my favorite opening, I see King's Indian on a board. E4, D6, Bishop E2, and C5 directly. Wow. So, back of Emir trying, trying, trying to transpose the game in some kind of a uh, Benoni pawn structure. Uh, usually move, as maybe some of you know it, is a castle. But okay, C5, of course, it's also a playable move. It's absolutely normal. Uh, D5, and I'd be the seven directly. Well, short castle and uh, after castles, knight e5, like this. Well, I can't say that it's really very great decision directly to make double pawns in uh, in your position. I I don't like it honestly because um because it's not so great. So. Uh, what what I'm thinking, if I will place this position by white, I think I will take, take, bishop e3, developing my bishop directly with a tempo, so it's tempting move always, always as well. And after b6, something like a3. I will try directly attack weak uh, king's, uh, queen side without pawn on d6, b4 coming, and it's really very unpleasant in my opinion. So not sure in uh emir emir um idea but okay let's see how was in the game and okay just it's yeah it's happened i think in the game yes 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 a3 so emir is thinking right now uh let's check uh goal sections on the 12. uh let's we'll choose some some of players okay this one halder uh halder sneha against kali ahmed el nas kali ahmed el nas as i know she's from kazakhstan so very i heard that she's really very good player let's check her game so uh halder sneha g3 played wow g3 d5 bishop g2 knight f6 and now d4 okay bishop f5 knight d2 e6 e3 e3 okay c5 knight e2 knight c6 a3 preventing of knight b4 bishop e7 short castles short castles and b3 okay so how set up it's very simple. <laughs> double, double pianchetto and two knights like uh, d2 and e2. We calling uh, in Russian uh, uitelki openings, but usually <laughs> some players doing it from black side. Uh, Sneha decided to make it from white side. Okay, so why not? Uh, I'll last play rook c8 and a bishop b2. So right now this one position, and I think. Black can take on d4. I think it's possible because right now white cannot take by knight and take by bishop. He losing, he losing pawn on c2. Rook c2, bishop c2 is coming. So for this reason, after c d4, uh, black forcing white to take by e pawn only, and now duck score bishop on b2 is a bit passive. So I think. Black already is better in this position, so not sure in white setup in this game, but okay, it's still, still, still a playable position. So let's check uh, what uh, will be 
next uh, El Nas move. So, okay, no, sorry. She played in this moment H6. Simply positional move. She making window in her position. So it's not so bad. Okay, H6, Rook C1. And now El Nas is sinking. So right now, okay, anyway, even uh, right now, Black can take on d4 and uh, force force white to take by e pawn because you know like uh, if we will keep our pawn on c5, let's say I'm 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 saying for black, if black will keep pawn on c5, in some moment white can take on d on c5 dc5 and he opening his dark square bishop. So for this reason, in my opinion, for black it's good idea to take on d4 directly. Uh, yeah, but Elnas played simply b6. b6, okay. And what now? So I think Sneha need to push her pawn on c4. She finished her development and she need to make some space for her pieces. Especially for two these knights, knight d2, knight e2 looks a bit bit strange, and I think she need to search some some good squares for her knight. So for this reason, I think c4 will be fine. But no, rook e1, <laughs> very safety, very solid move. Okay, and okay, just Elnas now, now sinking. And still, still, I want to take on D4 anyway. I don't know why, but I like this move. <laughs> I want to take on D4. Uh, take by knight is not so great. I mean, like, no, maybe it's not so bad also. But I'm saying that uh, white cannot take the bishop. A3 pawn is hanging, as you see. Uh, black winning one pawn and directly second pawn on C2. Yes, uh, so he will be forced to take by e pawn, and after that, the white bishop on b2 is a bit passive. So I think uh, for black, it will be a good idea to play like this. But okay, uh, let's see. Okay, she played queen d7. Okay, as maximum as possible, trying to improve her pieces. So. For Sneha, it's time to, to do something. So take on c5 or c4 directly. Something like this she need to play. She made all development moves. So now some fight must be start. Okay, she's thinking. Let's let's we'll check again. Um a boy's section under 12, and our game was this one. Uh, Din Nohokiet against Sharshan back of Emir. And uh, yeah, we stopped to watch after a3. Emir played bishop d7, and of course, dinged his pawn on b4. So it's absolutely logical and very strong, in my opinion. Rook c8, and he played f3. Okay, supporting, supporting pawn on e4, and as I'm understanding his move. He planning to play knight b5 or even knight a4 and attack this weak pawn on c5. For this reason, he played f3, supporting e4 pawn. For example, if black will make some, some let's say, some simple move, some waiting move, let's say king h8, for example, and after that, uh, white can think about about knight. Uh, knight a4 and attacking pawn on c5 with the idea to win a pawn. If black taking, of course, it's good for us. We getting a pair of bishops, and anyway, uh, black queen side is really very weak. So position is really very unpleasant. Uh, so after f3, after f3, uh, Emir played knight e8 and knight a4 anyway. Adin played capture, capture, and right now this position, this position. Ah, no, he took on c5. Yes, takes, takes, and right now this one position. So, what to do now? Queen a5 looks for me very nice. We're making pin and directly attacking, attacking pawn on c5. 
uh, yes, it's happened. It's happened. He played queen a5, and immediately, imme immediately, Emir played knight d6. Oh, so tricky, so tricky. <laughs> What's his idea? His idea, if white will take on c5, and okay, just want to ask you, black to move, What's uh, what was black idea? And of course, knight b7 winning 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 material bishop and queen is hanging and the black will win a piece but but emir of course of course find it and he played rook oh sorry not he played rook a b1 it's happened in the game uh emir pushed his pawn on a5 pawn is hanging on e4 so simply bishop d3 f4 and now bishop f2 Honestly, even, even bishop c5, I think, is possible right now. And after knight b7 sacrifice, like, even for me, even for me, the white position is so great. Even bishop c5, in my opinion, also possible. Knight b7, we can sacrifice our rook on b7, takes, takes, takes. And simply bishop b4. And my next moves will be c4, c5, and c6. And when when, when my pawn will reach c6 square, I think game will be over. With so strong pass pawn on c6, I think white is always will be winning. But okay, it's like my my dreamings. <laughs> my dreamings to get position like this. But okay, uh ding playing simply bishop f2 trying to win without any risk and after that after bishop f2 emir played played queen d7 okay so we have position right now like this and uh and then then the end how to play right now <clears throat> even now we can do same Bishop c5, knight b7, rook takes b7, and knight bishop b4 and c5 and c6. For me, it looks easily winning. It's one option, second option. Okay, we simply can make double rooks on b file and go inside like rook b8. So I I I I guess that uh Dean will spend a time, will think slightly, and uh will play rook. I don't know, rook b3. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, so in both uh, positions, I can understand something sometimes. Yes, he played same. Rook b3, rook b1, Emir played h5, and I think right now white will play simply rook b8. Rook b8, and we'll try to trade some pieces to make nothing go black attack or even he can bring its typical idea like king f1 and king e2 to prevent any attack of black on the king side it's also possible it's also possible and it's not so bad idea i think yes for me it looks really very well but look timings oh ding only six minutes and a mere 50, almost 16 minutes on a clock. <laughs> Emir, okay, playing practically really very well. He pressing by time. Yes, positionally his his game is not so great, but at least at least he's searching some other possibilities. And okay, just pressing by by time. He's trying to play really very fast. Oh, uh, I can't say that it's really very great strategy to play so fast because when you're playing so fast you know you cannot thinking deep you're trying to really to make some really very fast moves and uh, very easy to get very bad position directly and okay just even it's happened in the game black position is really very bad but pressing by time <laughs> so maybe it's not so bad okay what happens then Rook b8. Wow. Yeah. 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 Rook takes. Rook takes. King f7. 
and now our thing is sinking. But what was the reason? Can you tell me what was the reason to take on B8? If you decided to push your pawns on the king's side, so follow your plan. What what reason to take on B8? Or just just push your pawn on G4. Yes, maybe not something special, but at least uh, when you're making moves like this, at least slightly but making nervous your opponent maybe some gf3 maybe some g3 always coming so it's not so pleasant for white maybe not dangerous but like you know we are human and when our opponent making some active moves especially near our king it's always making nervous us but emir still trying to play fast and directly he took on b8 check and king f7 and now this position and ding no yet are thinking searching some accurate way in my opinion accurate way how to win his game of course white position is really very really well so and again let's let's will think I'm trying to understand how I will play in this moment, in this position, if I will play this position by white color. I think, I think I will play something like queen a6, honestly. Why queen a6? I want to use my light square bishop. He's staying on d3, maybe he looks well, but he's not doing something. And let's say if black will wait, will make some waiting move, I want to bring my bishop on c2 and a4. And after that, queen will be trapped. <laughs> Suddenly, queen will be trapped on d7. So I, I prefer to play something like this. In my opinion, it's very easy. Yes, okay. Maybe, maybe, of course, black will try to push his pawn on g4 to get some, some counterway. But anyway, anyway, even, I don't know, even, even here, I can play king f1 and king f, king, king f1 and king e2. My king will be very safe. I don't see any attack from black side. And again, I will I will have a threat like to bring my bishop on e4. So something like this I will try to play. Oh, but then but then played queen c3 like this. And why he made this move? Why he made this move? I'm trying to understand. No idea. No idea. Maybe I'm missing something, but no. What what queen doing on c3? No idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay. And now Emir is thinking. So he have a choice between two moves, in my opinion. Or g4. Uh following his plan and push pawns on the king side or queen a4 uh queen a4 with some ideas to improve queen to bring queen inside on d1 something like this maybe it's not dangerous maybe white can play simply queen b3 to prevent to prevent king the queen d1 but anyway we can play queen a5 yeah, I like I like this idea. Look, uh, queen a4, queen b3. Of course, for white, it's really very really great to trade the queens because without queens, no any black attack will work for sure. Uh, but and all end games will be really very really fine for 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 white. No weaknesses in his position. A uh, pair of bishops for sure, for sure. White will be really very really great. But I'm a bit worried about queen a5. Queen a5 with the same idea to bring queen inside something like queen d2. And queen on d2 will disturb so much white position. So I prefer to play like this. Queen a4 and somehow uh, will try to disturb white position. And even after queen a4, bishop c2 is not possible because pawn on c4 is hanging and black winning pawn directly so it's fine it's fine for black of course let's wait let's wait a mere first time in this game after 25 minutes <laughs> start start to think first time in this game so maybe 
maybe maybe he knew these type of positions he already played maybe like this and okay just then he have experience experience oh do you know what i see i see one very interesting idea for black and maybe maybe emir emir thinking about this this move right now what do you think about knight of five wow <laughs> if white made his queen in front of our duck square bishop so maybe it's not so bad idea to use it i want to improve my knight i want to bring him on d4 or maybe on e3 where where uh, my knight will stay really very really well and if white will take then of course discover i'm attacking bishop e4 pawn is coming so okay okay maybe he's scaring that he losing a pawn yes but at least our dark square bishop now is really very really active and again again we can start to think about some activities like queen a4 but queen a4 not giving us something no threat there no 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 i'm sorry i'm sorry not working no but nice idea <laughs> nice idea with knight f5 okay i'm here still thinking let's will check how our uh young lady is playing uh where's this game yeah this one oh they made some few moves okay 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 so we stopped uh after queen d7 as i remember yes okay finally finally sneha to uh pushed her pawn on c4 yes uh alas took on d4 knight takes knight takes pawn takes yes and rook fd8 okay queen e2 okay i can understand sneha she don't want to keep her queen in front of opponent uh major ma major pieces so queen e2 bishop f8 and now she took on d5 like this she took on d5 but why why sneha why you took on d5 what's the reason you know when after let's say capture capture your bishop on b2 really very passive when your pawn was on c4 potentially potentially you can push for example your pawn on c5 you can try to make really very i mean very strong pawn on c5 it's pass pawn and if your opponent will take tank and uh, potentially you can improve your bishop on this long diagonal but when you're capturing on d5 then it means that your bishop on b2 is really very bad piece and it's really very tough uh will be improve his uh improve him but okay queen a6 oh Sneha idea was to bring her queen on a6 maybe rook e8 take and right now is black to move and what to do now rook takes e8 i think right yes 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 and i'm wrong as always <laughs> in the girls uh, games i cannot find uh any move so i'm really very weak i think I'm really very weak so knight takes uh rook takes bishop takes queen takes e8 uh so black planning to bring his queen inside queen f1 and uh, now queen c6 now queen c6 and uh, suddenly i like el nas position so queen going inside two weak pawns b3 and a3 even if pawn will be on a2 it will be much better but okay so and right now sneha move and she played bishop b2 bishop b2 not sure not sure so black simply can play queen c2 inside yes of course queen c1 idea of sneha to trade our active piece to trade our active queen but anyway like it's going something wrong you know like um 
I win. Um, let's say how to say. So I will tell you my vision. When I'm playing, uh, let's say by white color, so logically, logically after, let's say, after the opening, when we finished our development, when we improved our pieces, we starting, starting to play aggressive, we starting to play bit, 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 bit aggressive, maybe not bit aggressive, we starting to play active. And logically, if we have a plus extra tempo, so white usually starting first to make some threats. But in this game, I see that black starting, <laughs> started to make a threats. Yeah. So, okay. Anyway, let's check. Uh, Queen C2, it was in the game. Queen C1. And Queen... Queen D3. Uh, what about Bishop F1? Queen will be trapped. Oh, Elnas, what are you doing? Oh, sorry, 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 I missed. <laughs> After bishop f1, she can play back on c2. <laughs> sorry. Okay, yes, it's happened. Um, Sneha played, played bishop f1 and only move for Elnas to go back on c2 and she did it. Yeah, so she played queen c2. Fine. Okay, and now we getting end game i think yes 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 so we got our uh, end game looks like almost equal because pawn structure almost equal three islands three islands per side so but but anyway i like slightly but i like black position because black pieces attacking a white piece is, is saving, so means bishop on f8 attacking pawn on a3, bishop on c2, okay, pressing on b3. A white piece is only saving, bishop on b2, knight on d2. So I prefer, uh, I prefer white. Uh, sorry, black this uh, this position, but of course it's not means that black position is really very bad. So we can play simply b4, and after that all our pieces is free and we can improve improve our position yes and it's happened in the game so b4 and uh, uh elnas played bishop d6 and now now we need to set up our pieces on a good squares so what my recommendation what my opinion on, on this position so how white must play so in my opinion in my opinion so we need to bring our knight on e3 uh, our knight on e3. From e3, we will attack d5 pawn, we will attack bishop on c2, and just generally, generally staying not so bad. For this reason, I prefer to play something like, I don't know, bishop e2, knight f1, knight e3, something like this. I don't know how our ladies played, but let's will check. Uh, bishop e2, wow, perfect. <laughs> King f8. And bishop f3, not sure, not sure, not sure. You know, I have my own conception. Even already I told once that uh, the most important piece on a board is a knight. So it's logically because a knight have a short, uh, short move. I mean, um, when we're making move with a knight, we, we, we can jump only on a two squares forward, for example. Let's say bishop, we can, like, I don't know, we can make a move. We can bring our bishop from one side to another side in one move, right? But knight cannot make a move like this. So for this reason, I prefer, I prefer to make a move and to improve, uh, first of all, my knight. So maybe bishop f3 is not so bad move, but anyway, I want to bring my knight. I want to improve my knight first of all. So for this reason, I prefer knight f1, knight e3 first of all. And after that, I will start to think about my uh, bishops. But okay, bishop f3, king e7, king f1, check, and uh, bishop e2, bishop f5. Yes, yes, king e2, and now uh, Elnas 
El Nas move and she's sinking. She's sinking, she's sinking, she's sinking. So she has a she has a uh, she has a chance to trade less, uh, light score bishops. Why she not did it? I don't understand at this moment. I think she can take on e2, right? She can take on e2. King takes. And then fix white pawns on the dark squares. Just look all black pawns on the dark squares. It means that bishop on b2 is really, really very bad piece. It means that white bishop cannot even potentially attack attack our pawns. Uh, we can attack very easily. So I think I think it was positionally mistake of El Nas uh, when she uh, after Bishop e2, Bishop f5. In my opinion, she need to trade to trade uh, uh, light square bishops and keep bad opponent bishop on a board. Uh, bishop f3, King e6. Yes, yes, and okay. Just right now, still, still, uh, El Nas is thinking. Thinking, okay, let's will check our uh, other game before El Nas is thinking because I think it will be really very, very, very long end game. <laughs> let's let's check the game of uh oh, what happened? They finished? Oh no, ah, no, no, sorry, sorry, they're still playing. Okay, 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 uh, we stopped discussing after queen c3 as i remember yes 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 and emir uh thought a long time in this moment and he played rook b7 rook b7 okay looks absolutely natural uh black black trading black trading the active rook so not bad maybe take Queen takes Queen takes too much, right? Because c5 is hanging and we're losing, we're losing, we're losing, we're losing pawn. Okay, so knight b7 we need to play and g3. Okay, okay, okay. Uh queen c7. But why king h1? Come on, gentlemen. King h1? Really? King g2, I can understand. I can understand bishop f1, bishop h3, something like this. I can understand bishop c2, bishop a4. But king h1, it's too deep for myself. Very, very, very deep. <laughs> okay, king h1, bishop f6, bishop e2, queen b6. Capture, capture, queen c2, preventing, preventing any uh, black activities, knight d6, and bishop f1. And now this one, this uh, this position. So I think black now, okay, not, of course, is better, but at least he improved his position. Black improved his position. He occupied B file. He traded active uh, rook of the opponent. But what White did, I don't know. <laughs> he bring his king on H1 and he trades the uh, G pawns. So even right now, Bishop H3 now possible, of course, but it's a bit risky because now when we're leaving F1 square, Black will attack our pawn on C4. So not sure, not sure how uh, White will try to improve his position. So it was, and now okay, and now um, Emir thinking, right? Emir thinking, last, 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 last. Oh no, sorry. Oh, King G two. Last White move was King G two, and. Uh, Okay, let's will check timings. One minute ding and okay, almost four minutes Emir. 
and four minutes Amir. Okay, so Amir now trying to get something. So it looks natural to play queen a4. Yeah, a bit risky because we're losing c5 pawn, but like this, we're trying to make some threats. We're trying to make us to make some threats. So maybe it's not so bad. Queen a4, I like. Uh, but what was in the game? Okay, Queen b6. Wow, Queen b6. Queen b6. Is it so great? Is it so great? Not sure. So we can capture, let's say, takes, takes, and then we can push our pawn on a4. And always with threatenings to push pawn on a5 and win c5 pawn. And after that, we will have so great mobile pawns in the center. Yes, of course, you will try to stop it, knight b7 for sure. But endgame anyway is really very well, no? We can bring our king on c3. Then what? Ah, then it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's it's a draw, maybe. Yeah, 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 correct. Okay, so... So for this reason, Ding, wow, Ding, uh, evaluated position really, very really well, and he saved, he saved his queen. Knight b7? Why knight b7? Amir, what's the reason to play knight b7? Okay, if you want to wait, just play king f7, king f8, something like this. What's the reason to touch, to touch knight from the good square? I don't know. Maybe he thought to bring knight on b7, a5, b3, d4, but it's too much. It's too much. First of all, second, it's really very easy to prevent this maneuver. Hmm. Knight b7, not sure. King g1. Knight a5 and simply queen a4. Yeah, now I like Dean position really very well. I think because white, white, white queen going inside, and after that, after that, black will get, I think, will get some problems. I think we'll get some problems. Hmm. Interesting, interesting game. I like it. I like it very much. Okay, for example, white plan to bring her queen on e8, bishop h3, and bishop f5, or e6. And after that, after that, it will be really, very really close from checkmate. That's much. Too much. But okay, let's continue. King f8, he played. Okay, preventing any queen e8. Anyway, queen d7, and okay, knight b three knight b3 so knight going on d4 and what about white bishop he going on h3 and uh... oh i got it i got it oh emir so so smart player look it honestly i thought only about knight d4 only about knight d4. And I thought, okay, just even if we will lose our f3 pawn, it's nothing. It's not so dangerous. And even we can play bishop e6 with some checkmates, ideas, or possibilities. But then suddenly I find that black can play knight d2. Knight d2. And our uh, main threat to checkmate after queen b1 and queen f1. Wow. Wow, <laughs> not bad, not bad, perfect. So, uh, no, oh wait, 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 wait. What was in the game? Let's will check. Uh, sorry, King F8, Queen D7, uh, Nate B3, and uh, Din played uh, Queen C check. King and Queen F5, like this. Queen F5. What's idea? Okay, he want to take on H5 and support F3 pawn. Like this, he saved he saved his 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 pawn. Okay, interesting. But anyway, if I will play knight D2, what do you want? What do you want, Mr. Dean? 
queen h5 is too much queen b1 is coming right okay but queen h3 he can play right okay queen h3 queen d1 anyway oh it's still still not so clear for me still not so clear for me honestly and okay please look it it's happened in the game it's happened in the game and he played knight d2 so okay and ding played bishop e2 bishop e2 so he don't want to stay on the pin okay i can understand of course it's really very unpleasant and what now and what now emir you will show us you know usually usually knight uh plus queen against a uh, bishop plus queen usually knight is better knight and queen is better but here not only one bishop here a pair of bishops a pair of bishops is really very really strong very powerful pieces okay let's check what was then uh, uh check move queen c2 queen c2 queen c2 queen takes uh, takes and knight c4 okay 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 i'm not sure i'm not sure what's the reason to trade the knight oh come on come on it's too much it's too risky oh emir emir yeah what then king f7 take oh no 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 and just look at this position it's totally totally well for white we have postponed on h file we have much better bishop against this so passive bishop on f6 oh no 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 and even a7 pawn is hanging amir what you did okay both of players our uh, timings is very short one minute only and very important that for ding it's really very easy to play simply he prevent any activities of the black a7 is hanging he need to trade only queens and game will be over absolutely so so emir you need to save your queen i don't know queen a2 queen e2 some somewhere only like this let's check how was in the game <gasps> hmm. oh yeah yes 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 so boys under 12 <laughs> i think you need to learn end games come on gentlemen a6 and of course yeah for ding it's really very easy to play this position so simply improving and now he will start to push his pawn on h file yeah emir you need to improve your end game and after that you will be really very really great player you're playing fast you you're doing well everything only only improve your end game so h4 and after h4 i think i think black will lose soon in this game very easy to play for white you know um uh, in some moment we will take on e6 king g5 king g6 and finish and the finish so king f6 was in the game okay and now and now simply i don't know maybe even bishop b6 even d6 probably winning yeah any move is fine here yeah din din pushed his pawn and two pass pawn because because black is pawned down and plus double pawns in his position yeah so amir so sorry and congrats dean was really very really nice game i like full game you pressed it was really very very 
excited game. Perfect, perfect. So soon, I think uh, Emir will uh, resign, and let's uh, will check uh, 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 our our girls. Yeah, Kaliakmet Al Nas against against Asneha Halder. Okay, and just look this position. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, let's check. Uh, we stopped after Bishop F1. Queen C2 capture, capture. Yes, yes, yes. We discussed. Okay, Bishop C2. Okay, finally, finally. Sneha bring her knight on E3. It's good. H3. I don't know why, but okay, it's happened. <laughs> King D2. Bishop D6. King yes. yes. What's the reason to trade the knights? Who can explain for me? Just, just simply, Sneha. Maybe, maybe I don't know, but maybe you will listen. You will listen my commentaries after the round or something. Just when you want to trade, when you want to trade some pieces, some your pieces. Just check your piece and his piece. Just check your knight and his knight. I think your knight is slightly bit better because you attacking, you attacking his pawn. Ah, uh, his knight, uh, her knight is only saving. So for sure your knight is better. And maybe it's better to keep this knight, you know. Yes. So, and what was the game? Oh, she lost already. And okay, let's, we'll check first uh, the game. Yes, yes. And look, Elna's doing everything well. She bring her bishop from d6 on f6, from where she can press on d4 pawn. Yes, yes, okay. g4 fixing pawns. And simply bringing king on the queen side. Yeah, perfect game. Especially Elna's, especially endgame, really very great. I heard about this talent girl, but okay, just don't knew. I mean, personally, I heard, but I heard a lot of good things. So I see she's really very strong. And okay, slowly she won this game. Okay, and what about our gentlemen, young gentlemen? Oh, oh, <laughs> where's the games? Oh. Uh... I think, I think the, okay, okay, uh, no games, I think they finished, but what happened there, oh, sorry, I think, I think um, Ding won and uh, uh, Emir, Emir resigned in those games, okay, let's check, uh, but anyway, let's, uh, let's check, uh, in which moment he resigned maybe sorry in which moment he resigned one second one second uh po, 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 po. maybe directly after d6 oh no they played some few more moves uh we stopped watching after d6 Yes. Okay, Emir played king f7, d8, and bishop f6. And after bishop f6, simply bishop b6, winning, winning uh, bishop, and game is over. Okay, so it's happened like this. Perfect. So let's check some games, which is still, still uh, playing. Okay, this end game. Let's quickly... Okay, Po, Yu, Tian against Pranav. Pranav, we... As a strong player, especially I know in 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 online websites, he's he playing really very really well. Even I played, I think maybe some few blitz games, and um, he's really very strong blitz player. And I see position now he's also winning. So <laughs> in in rapid player, he also very great. Yeah, position is winning simply. Uh, black king is coming and winning knight. King e2, knight h2, king f2, king g2, and king takes h2. White cannot to, 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 to make something. Okay, perfect. Uh, 
something else, something else, something else, something else. Uh, oh, no, it's a losing, so not necessarily to watch even losing position. What about this? Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, we have a uh, girl section under 10, this end game. Looks really very interesting. Okay, uh, black pawn on b2, but but the white king is much, much, much active. And how to evaluate this position? Who is better? Who is better? Okay, I think it's equal. I think it's equal because because white cannot leave b file and make some threats because queen is coming, and black also cannot leave second rank because he's saving pawn. And okay, just I think uh, they will repeat. So it was in the game like this. Uh, C king d8, c6, king c8, and okay, just okay, 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 yum, yum, yum. So game was like this. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and it's draw now. Yeah, I think we. Yeah, we finished for today. Thank you very much for all of you. It was really very strong. Uh, games today even I liked uh, four rounds is finished and from tomorrow we will check our uh, leaders of the tournaments we will see some uh, leaders of the sections so and now I want to say goodbye see you tomorrow bye Окей, все, турники хорошо?